Hello students, welcome to Eat Parshala and today's lecture is on building process and going to uh, give a lecture on building process and the introduction is every man in this world has a dream to build his own house. It is seen as a societal status to own a house that they have dreamt of. It is necessary for everyone to have knowledge on the building process. Knowledge on building process helps them to one monitor construction of building to check quality of materials used, three, estimate the number of days required for construction, four, estimate on co cost of building, and five, reduce the wastage of materials and thereby need to know about the materials needed for construction and also simple techniques involved in the construction. In this lecture, let us take a look on building processes to be carried out during construction. Now, let us take an example of the process involved in building a residential house which involves one, the selection of the suitable location, purchase of the property, survey and the footprint of the property, accessibility of the project, planning and designing of the home, getting the necessary permits, prepare an estimated cost breakdown, begin construction and complete construction. First is finding a location. Many factors go govern to find a suitable location on which to build a house. Think about a place that would help them to live long term and keep them in mind things like 1. The climate. Consider the climate that is suitable for living. Knowledge on the climate helps to select the special materials required for construction and also special care on the shape of the structural component. Example, a heavy rain area sloped roofs are preferred. Ground suitability. Any building to be built need to be checked with the resistance of the soil to bear the load of the building. This needs to perform the soil investigation of the place in case if the area of construction is large, if small, any soil regenerance is needed. Now this will help to decide on type of foundation and also the number of flows they conduct they could construct. Availability of utilities, this gives the knowledge of materials available at the site or the locality for the construction such as water, electric power and other conveyance. Community infrastructure, this is the one of the necessary facility needed in this modern growing world such as good school facility for the kids, place to acquire basic commodities, pharmacies and hospitals nearby. And the second one is select the property on which you are going to build and purchase it. This may be a hurdle depending on the cost and the availability fund with us. Building a house is an expansive process but purchasing suitable property is also a major investment just as important as home building. Decide how you are going to pay for your building project going forward and start that process with the land. Some home builders will decide to go for bank loans to purchase the load and mortgage for secure funding for the building project. This requires knowledge to enter into a contract with a builder or a contractor. The loan amount to be claimed may be must be decided and proceeded with the plan of the building to be constructed as per the rules of the buildings. The builder resumes and serves as a contract between you and the, and the project as well as to a source of funding for the project. To do this, you will need to wait until you have hired and vetted a builder for purchasing the land. Have the property surveyed and the footprint of the house located. This is not absolutely necessary, especially if you are building on a large parcel of land. But if there is any doubt about the property lines, have this done to assure you are not encroaching on a neighbor's property or the city's. Now this will be useful as you move forward with the building process. Consider assesses issues. On a large parcels, especially you will need to ascertain the route for a usable driveway if you depend on a car for transportation. Look at any low area that would become impassable in winter mud or heavy summer rain. How installing driver way will affect the landscape and whether a driveway will be in conflict with the underground utilities. Pay particular attention to the way surface water will drain off the property and every effort should be made so that the water drains off and away from the driveway. This may require the placement of the culverts or the pipes are shown and under the driveway to avoid the puddling along the sides. Planning and designing your own home. Architects and engineers have special training and years of experience in designing houses and are necessary for most building. 
regardless of whether you contract their services or elect to design your, your own and the house that you will build for you so as you should be involved closely in the design process before you hire or consult an architect find out what management service the firm may or may not provide some architects firm will help hire contracts they know and trust as well as consult and inspect the contractor's work as its progress making necessary to revisions and additions as the work progresses this can be a significant headache relief in the process before building you will need to submit the plans to the city building commission for approval unless you are an experienced architect it will be very difficult to produce the necessary to scale production drawing and engineering spaces necessary for approval to save time energy and money it's recommended that you consult a professional and work alongside with them to design the home that you want as shown in the figure design the living spaces the fun part of the designing a home is imagining your new life in your new space spend some time researching pre-drawn floor plans for inspiration and consider using them as a guide for your own space home building guides are commonly available for free online give lots of thought to what kind of rooms you want the number of bedrooms that will be necessary for your family and what sort of a style that you want in the rooms and you will be spending the most time in bedrooms for the family house where the possibility of addition exists remember it is simpler to add a room during initial construction than to remodel or build an addition later if you only need two beds at present an extra room might be used for an office storage or even left unfinished and unfurnished until such time as it is needed bathrooms in practical terms one bathroom can suffice in almost any circumstances but if the house is for multiple people and two makes life much easier having two or more more bathrooms will also increase the resale value in the convenience minded home buyer's mind special function rooms consider if your lifestyle requires rooms suitable for special functions such as formal dining office space a den or a playroom design the utility areas for the family life having a laundry room and possibly even a garage can be a real help in managing day to day chores and planning out the necessary house running spaces is a critical part of design process it's also important to design them to be as early to wire and outfit with plumbing as possible making it important to consult an architectural engineer when designing the home carefully design your kitchen garage laundry room and your storage areas place windows with a maximum energy efficiency in mind part aesthetics and part energy efficiency designing your home with an eye toward the sunlight will ensure that your home stays full of warm radiant light when it needs it the most if you are building a home with large windows in a living room consider facing these towards the most appealing view and at an angle that maximize the natural lighting when you all want it most kitchens may benefit the most exterior light so think about what time a ray of sunshine in the kitchen will offer the best result late afternoon may be cooking and dish washing time so it may be best to orient the kitchen towards the west to take advantage larger windows on the north or the south face of your house will also help the heat the house through solar gain in colder climates if you live on the northern hemisphere build your windows facing the south if you live on the southern hemisphere build your windows facing the north prepare to tackle water drainage issues with proper design be aware of how surface water that is rain drainage from the seasonal springs moves across the build site it is critical to keep water away from your home especially in colder climates freezing pipes and the foundation damages can result from a failure to plan at this stage you want to keep your basement dry and lessen the chance that you will have damp wood which invites termites in any climate 
simple shawls or the grazy ditches okay, will go a long way in controlling the surface water drainage as shown in the figure. Getting the necessary permits. Secure the proper construction permits. A building permit is a basic requirement in many areas, particularly for permanent construction. To obtain this, you will need to provide detailed architectural diagram, engineering load spaces and other materials to your state's department of housing. It's likely you will also need the following to comply with local codes and zoning requirements by obtaining a septic tank permit, an electrical permit, a plumbing permit, a mechanical that is air conditioning permit and you may also find you are required to apply for and receive an environmental and or impact permit. Having the house location marked prior to obtaining your permits will help to work details out in the environmental permitting process. After getting permission for construction from the competent authority then construction works are initiated after mobilizing necessary funds. Secure a construction loan. If you haven't already started this process when securing the land then you will need to figure out a way to find the project and the construction loan is the most recommended method of doing so. Apply for a construction loan by filling out a loan application called a 1003 and submitting it to a loan officer along with a credit report. The completed loan application will need to include information like the type of loan requested, the amount of money requested, your current living situation, your social security number, other information etc. Get construction insurance. To engage in a home building project, you will need three types of construction related insurance, some of which may be provided by the builder, some of which won't depend on the state you live in and the nature of the contract you have signed. Typically, it's required that you provide. Course of construction insurance to cover against unfrozen losses, including damages from fire, accident, vandalism and malicious mischief. Generally, liability insurance is sometimes provided by the builder and sometimes not. It is a comprehensive liability coverage against accident on the workspace. You should only hire builders who provide this insurance themselves and it can be quite expensive and can be indicative of shoddy workmanship if a builder doesn't provide it. Workmen's compensation insurance is necessary if your builder hires their own workers. If the work is subcontracted, a common practice, you will need to provide workmen's compensation and the builder must write a letter acknowledging that they do not have employees and will not provide compensation. Prepare an estimated cost breakdown that is ECB. This is the breakdown of each particular cost of construction of the home, the foundation, plumber, framing, plumbing, heating, electrical, painting and builder's profit etc. When you hire a builder, they will usually complete this form to show you exactly what it will cost to build your new house. Cost also include price of building materials in the area. How much is the cost of the wood in the prospective area? Labor, vinyl, it's helpful to give some thought to how much the process will end up costing aside from the land purchase itself. Try to get a rough estimate of how much it will cost to build the kind of house that you want to build at the location you are considering. Decide on how much of the actual construction you will do yourself. Building a house involves several specific traders to ensure quality work. So it is usually better to have trained craftsmen perform things you are unable to do at an expert level. You can probably paint the house and put up drywall yourself but maybe that you want to hire those jobs out. Try to find an economic and practical balance between doing projects by you to save money and hiring out more intricate and difficult work. Consider hiring out. Site workers to clear and grade the land prepping it for the building. Masons to lay the foundation, construction of walls, plastering walls, construction of ceiling and water tanks. 
carpenters to perform rough carpentry, frame up the walls and install the trusses or the stick framed rafters, erection of the door window frames, roofers to install the roof and insulate the house from lighting, electricians, plumbers and the havoc workers to do the difficult interior work outfitting the home for living, trim and finish the carpenters for interior design work, flooring installers to lay the carpet, hardwood or tile marbles then granite mosaic flooring consider hiring a builder on contract everything will be made easier if you hire an experienced builder to oversee the project you won't need to worry about doing things yourself hiring out particular tasks and securing the permits yourself it's also much easier to secure a construction loan if you are working with an experienced builder that you can include a statement resume banking and experience references a line item cost breakdown of expected cost an ecb and material list and a construction contract now the contract should include one the individual responsibilities to each party the expected date of the beginning and the ending of the project the payment expected by the builder, the complete estimated cost breakdown, signed and dated, provisions for changes. After planning, designing and estimating, the proposed construction building, the execution of the work carried out in an integrated manner with various specialized field and engineers, consultants and others. Implementation of all the works by preparing an PERT chart with various activities involved and time allocation for each activity may clearly determine and stick on the program. Begin the construction. Once you have building consent, construction can begin. As soon as you know the start date, you need to tell your council. Now this date is important as you need to start your project within 12 months of receiving your building consent and finish it within 2 years. It might seem a long way off but the date will be used in the council's final project sign off and is part of the information you need to gather throughout the project. You or your project manager, builder or architect need to monitor progress and keep the council informed. Organize inspections and ensure they happen. If your work is not progressing as planned, that's another reason to talk to your contractor. They can help you identify and document variations or amendments to your building consent. Pay bills as milestones or meet or as you have agreed in your contracts. Collect energy work certificates for electrical and gas work as it is finished. Keep them on the site with other papers as your contractor will want to see them before they sign off your contractor agreement certificate. Complete your project. Ensure everything have been done as set out in your building concept plans and contracts. You need to let your builder know of any problems within the period of the contract of the end of the build. You also need to make all final payments as agreed in your contracts and ensure all contractors fees have been paid as well so that you can get contract sign off in the form of agreement. If more inspections were required or they took longer than originally anticipated, there may be additional fees. These may not be calculated until after your final inspection but will need to be paid before the agreement is issued. Apply to your council for your agreement. The council may need a few days notice to review your project before they make their final inspection. Maintenance projects protects your investment. Your contractors need to let you know about any required maintenance related to products or materials. You will need to keep the instructions so that any warranties and guarantees are effective. For most domestic buildings projects, the agreement is the end of the inspection process. However, if your house has a specified system such as a cable car, then it will need regular ongoing monitoring for safety reasons. Finally, in the conclusion part, you will be able to your home is an investment. If your construction project does not compile with the codes adopted by your community or the family, the value of your investment could be reduced. If you decide to sell your home or building, it may be required to tear down the addition, leave it unoccupied or make costly repairs. 
gaining knowledge about the process of construction leads to phase 1 process of permission to your site 2 awareness to soil strength tests 3 awareness on reading design of construction 4 selecting environmentally attractive materials with reduced environmental impacts is primarily achieved through the practice of resource conservation and selection of non-toxic materials 5 assurance on quality of materials and construction 6 assurance on safety of building to fire natural hazards such as earthquake flood etc know how of finding ways to reduce cost of building prevent wastage of materials and time 9 sequence of construction procedure in order to reduce time of construction 10 availability of materials at site 11 methods of low cost maintenance 12 effective utilization of natural lighting ventilation etc 13 number of labors needed for doing the work 14 procedure for obtaining financial assistance 15 community services needed to live comfortability 16 different construction techniques of constructing of building 17 identify components of cost expensiveness 18 less weather affected construction through usage of materials 19 knowledge of modern techniques and materials for usage of construction of building 20 able to judge on durability of the construction